Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. <laughs> Forgot to turn on my mic. My name's Len, and I'll be taking you through the next probably 45 minutes or so. So, uh, here's the deal. Um, I am not going to be on DTNS today, uh, as I have been booked for a gig. But I will have new uh, art. Um, so I'm going to create that art for you now. You can watch me create it. And then a little bit later, you can watch um, Tom and the gang uh, put it out there for the world and the ether. I just will not be able to be there live. So the big story of the day, it looks like uh, DTNS is going to be... Um, uh, it's it looks like it's the it's the conflict in Russia Russia invaded Ukraine uh, yesterday and um, that looked too good for a lot of different reasons um, but they're not talking about the global impact of the war in Ukraine they're talking about just how it affects technology so try to you know constrict the idea of what this means. I mean, you can talk a lot globally of what, what it means and, and how it's going to affect the U.S. and everything else and other, other issues. But for now, we're going to talk about um, just the minutia of how <laughs> the Russian uh, invasion of Ukraine will affect technology. It's, it's a small, small part of this bigger picture. I usually don't do many um, uh, politically charged stuff, um, you know, art for DTNS. But I, I was thinking about this and I think there's a good way to, to handle it. So that's what I'm going to do. So let's go ahead and um, get started. So the, the main idea, they're going to be talking about a lot of things on DTNS, um, how it's going to affect cyber attacks and, and how it's going to affect the supply chain and things like that. Um, what I'd like to do is really sort of focus on just the, just the tech part of it. So I'm gonna do that. It's gonna probably gonna be a quick little drawing here. Most of it, I think, is gonna be um, um, coloring. Let's see what happens. I don't know who's joined. Let's check, let's check who's joined in the chat room. Bad Fetch. Oh, uh, hey, what's up, Saffron Art? I know who you are. Hopefully you're still here, Sam. It's good to see you. get the maybe it's not this let me start over I had an idea but I want it to be more aggressive <laughs> hey Sam good to see you so um, I want this to be really aggressive. So I'm trying to figure out how to how to portray that. Um, let's see what happens here. It's very aggressive.
I gotta do a quick quick drawing here. Aha, uh -huh. so like let's do this. Hope everything is going well, Sam. What you get out of that is music that many I really, I, I've, I've been watching some of your uh, your stream and your art, and it looks fantastic. So this is basic, basic thought here that you have two hands, sort of uh, holding these devices. Sometimes the simplest idea, the easiest idea is usually the best. Um, I kind of like kind of like um, coming up with this with sort of a, a real quick visual idea all right so this is where I'm starting uh, this would be a good time to remind you that if you are uh, backing me on patreon and patreon.com forward slash Len um, you can actually uh, see the high-res stuff happening here in front of you. By the way, for those of you who aren't in the chat room, uh, my uh, follower, uh, Safarin Art, <laughs> Safarin Art, uh, on Monday the 28th, uh, uh, Safarin, otherwise known as Sam, and uh, Emily Zhang, We'll be going live together, 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, check out that stream. Great art from two local artists who are fantastic. So check it out, Saffron Art. There's your plug, Sam. <laughs> Hopefully people will watch this later and they'll see this. Um, so I... I'm going to try to get this done pretty quickly. Um, because I got to prepare for a gig that's happening at around 4.30. So. No problem, Sam. You know, you need all the support you can get, right? I always believe in supporting other artists, especially fellow students or fellow students, past students, I should say. All right. Um, all right, let me get this, let me get this image done. So the idea here, see, this is really tricky, right? Because with any sort of um, kind of politically charged art, um, you just have to be careful because you don't want to necessarily... My job isn't necessarily to offend anybody, right? Um, at least not on purpose, right? Um, so I just, you know, I just want to be, I just want to be um, careful that I'm getting my point across. Um, and, uh, you know, I definitely have thoughts about everything. Um, but you know, it's not my, it's not my bag to really talk. <laughs> um, don't feel real comfortable talking about, you know, politically charged stuff. Um, sort of, especially I've done a couple kind of politically charged pieces for DTNS and I try to keep it very, um, Very loose and um, 
I guess I would say neutral, even though, you know, I try to, I try to hit on, um, what I feel may be kind of a universal take on the situation, you know, like whether you d agree or disagree with, uh, the, the the idea right you can sort of look at the art and say okay I get what point this artist is making um, uh, you know I'm not I'm not one to be like I'm gonna make I'm gonna do really politically charged art and make you think and you know try to exact change um, although I think there is a place for that in art for sure uh, that's just maybe not my place. So, so Sam, since you're the only person here, I'm going to talk to you. Um, what uh, what are you and Emily going to be drawing? Uh, what kind of how how are you collabing, if you will, with one another? Like, what's the what's the end drawing going to be? Or do you know yet? Or is it just going to be sort of like a free-for-all? While you are answering that question, um, I just want to mention that I was, before I went live, I was uh, playing around on Netflix. Because apparently they have an interactive cartoon called cat burglar and uh, I thought oh okay so it's like an actual it's a game you can play on Netflix it's not a movie you can watch although it is like a it's like a video if you remember or if you've heard of um, if you've heard of um, the dragon's lair right a video game from the 80s. Um, the setup is sort of like that. Um, so you can play. Um, you can play. You can play the game, and and uh, it's like a trivia game. Anyway, uh, I want to go play it, and um, it doesn't work on my Apple TV, which I was really kind of disappointed by. It says you have to use a smart TV or something. So I went on my smart device and I didn't like the way that it looked. It was really not a great experience. <laughs> so I gave up. Oh, oh, I love that. <laughs> I love blob art. Blob art is fun. Creating just um, collaborative art. That's fun. Oh, I can't wait to watch. So I'll check it out. 5 p.m. Monday. I should be around. So I may stop in. Alright, so I got this general look. Now I think what's going to inform this drawing is going to be the background. So let me log that in. So I'm gonna I'm gonna create this background first, and then um, and then start painting the front. <sighs> I love these. You know, I'm glad I'm not gonna be there to present this in person. <laughs> 
just because, um, you know, I don't want, I don't know, it's, it's sort of, uh, it's, you know, it's scary. So I've got this brush called a clouder brush. Allows me to make clouds very quickly. And I feel that this helps sort of create the mood very quickly. So I've got that. Now I'm going to create some sort of the highlights here. very quick see uh, I'm going to create a ground very quick ground ground real quick. I'm going to add some shadow to that ground. The magic of clipping masks. I love them. So I'm putting some, um, some shadow in there just to add some mood to the drawing itself. some interesting brushes here to sort of get uh, a really quick mood and I feel like these these drawings uh, that works out pretty well, actually. <laughs> it looks pretty good. Um, all right, so I'm gonna create another layer. I'm gonna put it between the ground and the, the ground and the sky. Trying to make it as aggressive as I can without without really um, hurting, you know, like without without spending a whole lot of time. So uh, just using a couple different brushes here, um, I have created a. Um, I have created a feel very quickly. It's 
too bad nobody's watching this except for Sam. She's missing. You know, Sam's getting all the benefit of this, right? There you go. So see, you, you see how quickly <laughs> I've created a, a look and a feel here. All right, so now I'm going to start working on the actual... Oh, you know what? One more thing. Uh, I'm going to create... Just add another texture here. Thank you, Sam. See how quickly I work on this stuff? This is a good... It's a good exercise, right? I've been streaming for less than half an hour. Alright, so putting a texture in there. Just a little bit of a texture. Just to give just to give some idea here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some color. So the color is going to be very simple. So let's get some... Um, So as you can see, I'm dropping the color in very quickly uh, with the lasso tool. So I have basically the um, the ink lines um, tend to be a container. Oops, for the uh, for the for the color, so I can be a little bit less, um, uh, you know, clean about how I handle the color because basically I'm just dropping it in behind here and if it's not perfect that's okay um, oops just clean it up by erasing all right now here is the key oops it's trying to get Sort of the I'll look at these fatigues. So I'm just dropping these colors in. You'll see the last part here is where the magic happens. All right, so another clipping mask on top of this. Uh, multiply, clip it to the color layer. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start, bring the opacity down, start building up some of the color. Now, once again, I want it to be fairly aggressive. So I'm not, I'm not really thinking about finessing the color, right? So I'm just throwing that on here and you'll see what I'll do next. So I get this. Get this sort of aggressive look. So those, that's that's small. Those small little changes right there, right, give the impression that these are 
war torn, right? I'll use another brush, texture brush, and I think I will. Yeah, I'm gonna make it kind of go underneath. Do another multiply layer. Let's see how that goes. Now, what I'm doing is I'm just adding some debris. smudge this up a little bit. I'm gonna just get a little bit smudge up that dirt to make it look it's a little bit dirty. Now I'm gonna add the uh, I'm gonna add some highlights to this these characters. Interesting what color can do for a composition. It's very interesting. It can really it can really change the complexion, right? Alright, so you probably are guessing where I'm going with this last piece here. flag colors and I have another idea see I want the entire composition to be very um, like I said aggressive so what I want to do Sometimes, like I said, sometimes the easiest ideas, like the simple ideas, are the ones that really, um, really make a make a splash, you know. And it's you don't really need like if you have a really good concept, right? Um, you don't really need to work. I mean, not, you know, obviously you do need to work it, but um, the concept should be very, very quick and telegraphic. Oh, God, that's so beautiful. <laughs> I love it. Oh, man. This turned out better than I thought. Oh, sorry. I, I'm, allowed, I'm allowed to to like my work, right? I'm allowed to do that. Oh, gosh. I kind of wish I were, I were there to um, to present this. But I, I kind of like it better than, like, I won't be there to present it. Because, um, um, oh, no, I don't like that. I don't like that shadow. Let's do spec instead. Um, just because I'm, I don't want to be part of that conversation, if that makes sense. Um, like, 
I just want it to speak for itself. So I'll be interested to watch it back. I probably will watch it back and see what people have to say. All right, so then um, what I want to do next, I want to do another layer, another spec, uh, another um, uh, another clipping mask, I should say. And then I will add see what happens here if I can make this work I'm the greatest artist in the world <laughs> just kidding uh, yes <laughs> wow <laughs> that's pretty cool all right, so very subtly, I added some broken glass texture to that, which I love. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Sam. Is it not, I don't, does it come off as positive? It's supposed to be kind of aggressive. Um, let me add another thing here. Let me see if that helps. I, I don't know. Maybe it looks like they're coming together. Uh. You know, let me let me see what I can do here. You know, I'll add one more idea. Maybe that will help. So let me add. Okay, good, good, good. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, okay, good. I was worried that it was going to be coming off as like, um, you know, like I said, positive. Let me see what happens here when I do this. Try, let me try a different brush. Thank you. This will be an, you know, this will be an interesting um, reaction, I think. Okay, perfect, perfect. <laughs> that looks pretty good, right? <laughs> Hmm. 
Maybe that, huh? What do you think? Maybe that's maybe that's too much. Maybe that's a little bit too much. Um you know what? Let me try one more thing. Thank you so much. Oh, okay. Don't care. Uh, don't worry, Sam. Have a good dentist appointment. <laughs> Thank you, Carrie. Thank you. Thank you for subscribing. That's awesome. It's nice to see you. I think this works pretty good. I'm doing well, Carrie. How are you? I hope, I hope Zorza is feeling better. So this, by the way, Carrie, if you're arriving late, this is my take on the Ukraine and um, Russia situation via the, the lens of tech. So I'm not making a huge... Um, uh, I'm not trying to make a statement here um, about, but I'm just saying that it's, you know, it's going to be ugly. <laughs> it's it's going to get real ugly. Um, one more, and I think I may call this a day. I know you're, you're coming here late, Carrie. I wish to hang out, but I, I have to prep for, for another project. Thank you. Thank you so much, Carrie. I appreciate it. I'm glad we haven't been able to talk for a while. I've been very sad. I know I've been I've been busy and Zorza hasn't been streaming and it's just been um it's just been real hard. But I hope you're doing well. And um I don't know if the sparks are too much. Hmm. Huh. It's interesting. Hey, what's up, 9 to 12? Good to see you. Almost, I'm almost finishing up. So I'm trying to figure out what and what does and what does not belong in this drawing. So sparks, lightning. Quick question, just visualizing this, does this look aggressive to you? Or does it look like they're being friendly? What's your first take on it? It looks friendly? Oh. <laughs> no, it's supposed to be aggressive. Well, you know what? That's okay. <laughs> if, it's, if someone wants to see, you know, I mean, they're obviously at war. 
maybe I maybe I don't need the sparks. The sparks might be a little bit too much. And then I, maybe I don't need the. Oh man, how do you make this aggressive now? It's too friendly. Uh, oh well. Can't do anything now. <laughs> Maybe if I add, um, oh, okay, one more idea. This is gonna be sort of weird, but let me see if this if this does anything. Um, ah, this might be a little bit too much, but you you, you know you let me know what you think because I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit worried about this. How about that? <laughs> if they were angled more corner to corner diagonally. Hmm. Yeah, I guess you're right, but can't do it now. This might, does this do anything for you? <laughs> this, does this make it look more uh, aggressive? So that's, that's the start. Then let me, let me make this a little bit darker and then I'll add one more, one more quick uh, thing to this. And I think that may, that may make it a little bit more, a little more angry. All right, so I got some ideas here. This might do it, guys, I think. How about that? <laughs> Does that help anything? Let me let me do that again. Does that look okay? What do you think? Does it need that? Let me do one more thing. Do I need that? Do I need that blood in the back? Or should the blood just be on the... Maybe the blood on the... the blood coming off is a little bit too much. Maybe that's enough. What do you guys think? Maybe I'm maybe I'm overthinking it. Having the blood dripping off is that is that a little bit too much? Definitely more aggressive. Okay, cool. What do you think? Should the blood be dripping off or the blood be off? I actually kind of like the blood. I kind of like the blood dripping off. To be honest with you, 
Does anybody have any thoughts? Hmm, I don't know. You need the blood. Okay, blood in the back. All right. Oh, you know what? Let me let me redraw the blood actually. Um, because I think I think what I want to do is I want to I want to make it feel like. It's not coming off the phones, but coming off the hands. So let me let me do that. You go to work. All right, see ya. Hey, give me give me your uh, give me your. I'm gonna ask my daughter. Give me your uh, impression of this. I'm actually streaming right now, but you can. What do you think? What when you look at this, do you get? Go ahead. Come on. No, no, no. It doesn't matter. It's it's just your there. Okay. Does this look aggressive or friendly? Aggressive. Good. Okay. People were saying it was friendly. Okay. So let me add the blood. Do you get it? All right. Cool. That's my focus group. <laughs> Everybody, that was my daughter. Ugh, okay, I like it. I like this. I'm liking it. Put blood on the hands. Yes, that's yeah. I think that I think that does it. Thank you, Carrie. Thank you. Good, great minds think alike. All right. Uh, yeah. Now I'm really feeling this. I like it. You know, I meant to. S <laughs> I don't like being real political in my art. Um. But every once in a while, um, it sort of it sort of comes comes through, and it's every once in a while it's nice. It's nice to do that. I mean, politically. Anyway, wow. So here's a piece. There you go. Did it in under an hour. Uh, this is going to be on Daily Tech News Show uh, at uh, uh, four thirty Eastern. Uh, 130 Pacific. I will not be there because I have another gig. But um, uh, there you go. So thank you so much, everybody, for watching. I appreciate it. Um, uh, Carrie, if I if I will um, if I'm in if I'm if I'm if I can stop by Zor is she a hey, if she's streaming I will stop by and say hello. Um, uh, but, uh, but thank you everybody. Thank you for watching. Let me see who is here. Saf Saffron Art was here. Carrie Potter 420 is here. Um, uh, Delox, Droop Dog, Caxus 06, 9 to 12. Thank you all so much for being here and watching me create a piece of art. I've got to get this, um, up and ready to go for, um, this afternoon. So uh, on DTNS, so don't forget, uh, don't go, don't forget to go to go a good day internet. Watch this be premiered live this afternoon, and uh, we will see you on the next episode, which will probably be hopefully next Tuesday. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. It's been nice, um, some nice drawing for you. We'll see you again soon. Bye.